We're pleased to be joined by one of the new and notable speakers, Aaron Hoskins. Give us a little overview of your topic. So I'll be talking about single molecule studies of the spliceosome, which is a massive machine composed of five RNA components and about 100 proteins that's involved in gene expression in eukaryotes. In my lab studies, how the spliceosomes are built and turned into functional enzymes. And to do this, we use single molecule fluorescence microscopy, where we fluorescently tag individual components of the spliceosome and watch how they interact with one another in real time. What's the key aspect of your discussion? So I think the key aspects I would like people to take away from the talk are one, that you can really use sophisticated biophysical techniques to study really complicated problems in biology. And you can learn things that you wouldn't expect to learn uh, just at the outset from these types of experiments. The other aspect is really um, biophysics needs to be integrated with a lot of different other approaches, including genetics, uh, cell-based assays, and traditional biochemistry experiments to give you a really complete picture of what's going on in a system. Have you found anything in your research that surprised you? Yeah, so one really surprising finding is the amount of evolutionary conservation between different components of the spliceosome, which is found really in eukaryotic cells, so things that have a nucleus and counterparts in bacteria. And it turns out there's really striking uh, uh, features of conservation both at the functional level, structural level, and um, uh, sequence level of the proteins that are involved. And what does the future hold for this research? So the biggest news in, in our field are the recent cryo-EM structures of spliceosomes caught at various stages. And so my lab and many other labs are working to integrate this new structural information into our biochemical and biophysical experiments to really push the field forward into new directions. And is there anything else that we should know? Uh, I, I will say that all of the work I'm talking about today was done by a really terrific graduate student, Maggie Rogers, who's now a postdoc and recently graduated from my lab. All right, thank you, Aaron, so much for joining us. Thank you.